Welcome to Texas A&M University. We are a group of Dr. Hong Cai Zhou. Our group focuses on synthesis of metal organic frameworks, a novel porous material which has widely applications such as catalysis and gas storage and separation. Today, we will talk about how to synthesize two zirconium-based metal organic frameworks, UiO66 and UiO66 with amino function group. We will use the dimethyl formide or DMF or as our organic solvent and the zirconium dichloride oxide as our metal source. For the organic ligands, we will use terephthalic acid and the two amino terephthalic acid uh, separately. And uh, we will use the benzoic acid as our modulator. The reaction can be finished in the 20 milliliter glass vial. This is the structure of the UO66. It is comprised of zirconium cluster and the terephthalic acid ligand. And for this method, we will get the UO66 with a size between 100 and 200 nanometer. And for the amount of the chemical, we will use 75 milligram of the zirconium dichloride oxide, 15 mg EDC ligand, and 1.25 gram of the benzoic acid. All the chemical will be dissolved in 5 ml DMF and heated in 120 degrees Celsius for one day. So first, we need to add 75 mg zirconium dichloride oxide to the glass vial. This metal salt is very easy to absorb water vapor from the air, so it should be stored carefully. Then we need to add 50 mg terephthalic acid or BDC. Then we need to add 1.25 gram of benzoic acid. Finally, we add 5 milliliter DMF into the mixture. Seal the cap. We just repeat the procedure for the uh, UIO66 with uh, amino function group. First, we need to add 75 mg of zirconium dichloride oxide. Then, we need to add 50 mg amino BDC. The amino BDC has a very strong yellow color. Finally, we need to add 1.25 gram of benzoic acid. We also add a 5 ml DMF to the mixture. Seal the cap. So the next step is to dissolve the mixture totally in the solvent through sonication. After sonication, we can see that all the solid in the vial is totally dissolved. Our next step is to put the vial into a secondary container and put that into the 120 degrees Celsius uh, oven.
and then we need to wait 24 hours. After 24 hours, let's take the reaction out of the oven. The sample was cooled down to room temperature. After cooling down to room temperature, the UO66 can be purified as the centrifuge. After centrifuge and uh, drying, some powder will be achieved. For UO66, it has a uh, white color, while for UO66 with amino function group, it's a little bit uh, yellow.